everybody, Matt Cowboyan here. Now today we're going to talk about premiums on silver and a little bit on gold as well, but primarily I want to focus on silver because over this last couple of weeks we have seen the price of silver plummet down, but actually it's now costing you more than it was before to buy the silver physically because dealer premiums have gone up and up and up. They've gone hugely high, sometimes even double the spot price of silver to buy an American Eagle or a Britannia or whatever it might be. So in today's video, I want to talk about a few things. One, the big elephant in the room. Are the dealers taking advantage of us? Are they profiteering or is it something else? Two, I want to kind of talk about why this is happening in the first place, why uh, our you know, spot price is low but premiums high. And lastly, I want to talk about how that all fuels into my own thinking, my own strategy as to buying metals, as to buying silver, what I'm thinking about right now and how I'm going about things. I want to make it abundantly clear though that I am not a financial advisor or planner or anything silly like that. I'm just a guy who likes to talk about shiny things here on YouTube for entertainment purposes. So any financial decisions you make having watched this video are yours and yours alone. Very important to hammer that point home, make your own decisions not what other people tell you to do. So I want to start, I think, with actually the second point I mentioned earlier. Why are we in this situation in the first place? So it's no secret that silver prices have gone down. And for uh, the lucky few who were able to ride that wave going down when it happened uh, a couple of weeks ago, you probably were able to get some really good prices on silver if you had the connections or if you were perhaps a dealer and you had all of your connections still with the mints, you could see. And I, I'm having spoken to a number of different dealers in my lifetime, it's very evident that when prices go down, what one might think, oh my God, all, all of my stock is going to lose value. I'm going to be selling all the things that I bought previously at a loss. Well, yes, that's a certain thing that happens, but the majority of dealers will just go more. They'll buy more. They love it when prices go down because they can just go and stock up as much as they like or can. And undoubtedly, when the prices went down over this last couple of uh, weeks, lots of dealers were doing that. However, there was a secondary issue to all this. Lots of customers out there wanted to buy the silver at the same time. So a lot of these dealers were actively buying new stock and it was selling, it was going out the door almost immediately. And it was evident that things were getting quite hectic. So premiums start to creep up a little bit on some of the pieces, but then the bombshell type, type things hit when the big thing that's happening in the world, which by the way, I'm not going to name because it just demonetizes every video here on YouTube, but we all know what's causing it. But that then started to shut down mints. It started to shut down uh, mining operations, couriers, and all of that. So there was all of these supply chain interruptions. And that meant that dealers could not either A, get the silver delivered to them to deliver onto people, or they had to wait months and months, or still have to wait months and months to get that physical stuff to send it out to customers. So their premiums go up because they cannot get that silver in hand. And also the mints themselves that are making them are shutting down. They are not able to produce them. Or if they are able to produce them, their prices have gone up because their net uh, sort of price of silver has gone up as well because of the entire supply chain interruption, uh, you know, having to pay overheads and wages and all of this jazz. So that's one of the situations, well, it's the prime situation why we're in as to why silver premiums have gone up. The next big point, and this is probably why you're all here to watch this video, is my thoughts and opinions on dealer ethics and profiteering. Now, I did say that there were probably quite a lot of dealers out there who saw the prices dropping down, were immediately on the on the phone to their uh, mint um, customer service reps or whatever it might be, or the uh, you know suppliers service reps to say, right, I want this, I want this, I want as much silver as possible. Now, whether or not a particular dealer managed to sell all of that stock very quickly or not is up in the air about whether or not it happened. I think many of the big, big dealers out there will have sold a lot of what they locked in at those ridiculously low prices as they were creeping up. And yes, they probably got a little bit of premium on top of it as premium started to creep up. But where we are now with premiums being somewhat about 50%, maybe sometimes even double the price of the raw metal for some American Eagles, uh, you know, I've seen quite high premiums coming on from both dealers and secondary markets. There will inevitably be dealers out there who held on to their stock when they got those low prices and are now to some extent profiteering. Now, I have been staunch defenders of 
bullion dealers in the past because ultimately a bullion dealer is not a public service it is a business and a business has to make money and it's you know it's exactly the same for private individuals if you have the opportunity to uh, buy incredibly low and sell a lot higher then you probably would as well and especially when it's your business you cannot bemoan and begrudge a business from doing that now there are levels of ethics to consider here that uh, you know you are potentially taking advantage of people who are maybe not quite so knowledgeable when this whole situation that we're experiencing in the world started to kick off there was uh, inevitably and there, there are inevitably lots of people who are now looking to silver and or gold for the first time and they will be looking at all these prices and they'll be thinking well it's expensive but you know I need it I have to have it and they go and they fall victim to these so to a certain extent there are dealers out there who perhaps could be selling at a lower price and not making quite so much money however this is again where I defend the dealers they are reacting to markets people are still buying silver at these premiums and that's the crazy crazy thing so if you are like myself not <laughs> that keen to spend double your money on the silver uh, even if you can get your hands on it from dealers these days my best thoughts and advice it's not financial advice but my best thoughts on this are to say to you just really establish why you're wanting to buy silver in the first place because the premiums in my opinion will not hold long term if you're spending double the price of silver or even just a little less or even more to get hold of generic bullion whether it be these new e owls or whether it be us eagles or britannias you're just not going to get that money back if you spend 25 dollars 30 dollars on a us eagle in the us or if you spend 25 pounds on a britannia i 100 percent guarantee you that when supply chains start rolling again and when dealers start getting more and more stock in and supply starts hitting their shelves and they get all of their customers coming back for more they will have to react to each other one of these dealers out there will start to lower their prices and then everybody will flock to that dealer and so the market trend will go down and then where does that leave us the end customer the retail side of it for us is just mullered it is dead because you cannot then go and compete with these high premiums you would have to really try very hard to get 25 pounds <clears throat> for your britannia or your us eagle at the other end so that is my one kind of if you're going to take something away from this video understand that these premiums are temporary they are not there to stay the dealers yes they are making money on this they are to some extent profiteering some of them a lot of them probably won't be and uh, having spoken to a few recently uh, for my own sort of supply of silver i know that they are really really struggling to get any kind of stock you know emails will go unanswered for days at a time to major suppliers to major mints even if they are replied to at the moment and even then it's you know it's just up in the air in terms of any kind of quantity and when you're a bullion dealer you'll be dealing in significant quantities going forward so yeah there is a lot at stake here so just be very careful i guess is what i'm saying which brings me on to the sort of strategies as to how you can mitigate this to some degree yes there is premiums on silver but uh, you can still get silver which i think is potentially good value and those pieces are going to be the bits that are not like these lovely eagles i can't do this or drop them nicely with premium coins that were already premium like these oriental border britannias if you were looking to get hold of silver right now i would look to the coins which were already at a premium because it is very likely and it's going to vary dealer to dealer but it is very likely that these premium items will still hold their premium at the other end whether they'll hold the full amount i don't know but they have more of a chance of holding more of their premiums so yes these might be a little bit more expensive than they were two three weeks ago but the ratio as to which how much they are uh, over what they used to be is not going to be double like it is for the generic eagle so my thoughts would be premium silver is probably your safer bet and i'm saying safer because it's certainly by no stretch your safest bet i'm going to come back to my time old topic here and for those of you who love silver and hate anyone who bashes silver I'm sorry to say it guys and gals but the only metal of choice out there right now has to be gold it just has to be gold there is no other metal commodity out there that is safer and will give you a protection and will potentially even go up in value rather than just fanny about at the lower ends so in my opinion gold is where it's at 
One of the uh, issues around gold right now is that the premiums are a little bit higher because of supply issues, because of delivery issues. So there is still gonna be a premium on top of it, but by no means has gold premiums doubled the price of the unit item. That is just not likely. You can still pick up gold for 4%, 3 4 5% over spot price, and that is just nothing compared with the 20, 40, 50% even over spot price for silver. And if you are looking at the charts, you'll have seen gold has gone up during this crisis rather than down like silver has. So lots more protection coming from gold. If you can get hold of it, it is probably your best bet in terms of locking in that wealth for the future. So I wanna finish this by going back to the original point of uh, dealers ethics and profiteering. I think that a lot of people out there are spreading significant negativity about dealers. Uh, you know, it's not about the individual coin store owners, it's not about the individual businesses, it's not even about the big businesses out there at the moment. It's about physical supply. A lot of the, it's certainly now, maybe yes, there were lots of them that were profiteering during the downfall, as I said, but so many businesses right now, bullion dealers are struggling, struggling, struggling to get hold of even the most basic of stock. And when it comes in, it sells very quickly. I personally do not begrudge, do not belittle any business out there that does what is right for them in the marketplace. However, you need to make the decisions on your own. Don't go and buy silver just because people like myself or other people out there on YouTube or on news outlets or wherever it might be tell you to do so. Make up your own minds because this stuff is dangerous in 2020. It is potentially going to ruin an awful lot of people who will be stuck in that premium bubble and not able to get out of it until raw prices of silver shoot the moon and you all who've watched my channel for a long time know my general thoughts on shooting the moon for silver it is just not going to happen even in this situation that we're in i think there's room to grow but i do not believe or think in a shooting of the moon is likely so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section on dealer premiums and what's going on in this big wide world let us know if you've picked up any uh, good deals Talking of good deals, uh, if you are looking to get silver and you're wary of these dealers, uh, probably the single best place that I know of, certainly in the UK, perhaps even uh, around the world right now, to get physical silver at half decent prices is the Silver Forum, the long-term sponsor of our channel. So go and check them out. There's a link down below, fantastic trade section. They're even doing uh, some really, really cool giveaways at the moment this month. So head on down there and check it out. That's my last thing today. Just be careful, be wary, don't rush into purchases. If you are gonna buy silver, perhaps look at the higher premium stuff, but I personally think gold is the way forward, definitely. Thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video, that would be very helpful for everything that we do here on the channel. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. I'd love to know your opinions. If you're just gonna be an obtuse troll and tell me that I'm a moron or an idiot, then so be it, you can just get blocked. But if you want to have a fun, healthy adult debate on this subject, then hit me up down in that comment section. Otherwise, subscribe for more videos like this in the future with the alarm bell on if you want notifications. Otherwise, I wanna finish my video as I have been all this last couple of weeks with a big shout out to all healthcare workers and essential key workers around the world working very hard at this time to keep us safe, healthy, and fed. And keep healthy and safe to all of you. Stay indoors, save lives. Have a good one and we'll see you on the next one. Please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.